Hey everybody, it's Mary at Yard Art R Us. I think y'all can hear my helpers in the background. They're right behind the camera and they are being here for moral support. Of course, they don't start making noise until I do a video. Anyway, tonight I'm gonna paint this. This is gonna be like a super quick video because as you can tell, it's so cute and it's pretty doggone simple. It is a bunny peeking out of the ground and um, he's got the, you would put, you'd stage him or, um, We'll put the cold roll steel in here. So he's gonna mount kind of low to the ground because he's looking like he's coming up out of the ground. Hi, Miss Debbie. She's hey, the Debbie. only one on here so far, but there's okay. nowhere to put a comment. Okay, that's okay. You hang, let me see right quick. Hold on, Debbie. We're doing a little bit of video in here, huh? Go, 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 go. Hold on, I got it. Hey, Debbie, how are you? I'm trying to figure out if I can do a comment on here. Uh, I'm trying to do the link, but I guess it's not going to let me. There's, let me click this. Nope, that's not it. That's not it. That's not it. That's not it. There we go. Uh, maybe that's it. Paste. Okay. Oh, what I know? did is I clicked that little round thingy right over okay. there that has like a little thought bubble. You know the thought bubble in the cartoons? Sure. Okay. Sorry about that. It doesn't matter what we do. We try to learn technology and they always change it. But you know what? We don't We don't quit trying. All right, so what I did is I base coated this guy. I put uh, one coat of white all over him. And then once that was dry, I have my number 25 light pink. I mixed uh, the shading pink, which is this one. This is the shading pink. I mixed it with the light Hi, pink. And that's how I came up with this nose. Of course, that's black. So there's not a whole lot to this guy. And the secret, I think, is going to be in making him look good is with the shading. Okay. Uh, so I've got a couple of... of um, here's my paint palette, y'all. Pink, pink, and more pink. A whole lot of pink. Pink is our <laughs> signature color. Exactly. Exactly. So um, let me get some of this dirt off of here. I'm going to... Just very quickly, I'm gonna do his, uh, shade his ears. Just kind of come in here and do some work on his ears. Hi, Jane. Hey there, how are y'all? Tell me, are y'all are y'all painting tonight or y'all watching me? Hi, Lisa. <laughs> They're like, nah, we're not painting Mary, we're watching you. You know, and I used to try to get on during the day, but it seems like the nighttime is better, I think. And that's because I've got so much going on during the day. Hi, Bonnie. So, um, let's see, it, like in the last couple of months and stuff, it just seems like I can't get on till the nighttime. But I don't have kids and stuff like that to worry about, like homework and all that kind of stuff. So for me, the nighttime is not bad. Some people who have, you know, you, you have a family at home, that's not going to work. So I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to give him some little definition there on his paws, if you will. And all I'm doing is just taking that light pink, okay? Oh, here's our help. Come <laughs> here. I'm gonna, gonna t say hi. Mm -hmm. She's oh. our helper. She wants to help Nana today. She's been close to my side most of the day today. She gets like that. She just kind of gets in her little moods where she doesn't want to be alone. And um, then she decides, okay, I can go be alone. And then Sheba decides she wants to get it. Let's see this one. Come here, Sheba. So you going to let everybody see? So this is Sheba. So she says Ellie Mae was up here helping. So now Sheba's going to help. So I'm just going. No, we can't do that. I'm going to give them some paws over here. Hi, Kathy. Your just, cousin's Just kind of putting some paws in there with that shading is all I'm doing. There was no C and C line there, but I made it happen just because I did that. I like having those paws. Okay. Hi, darling. All right, so we got that. Now, without even worrying about cleaning my brush, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take, so that's light pink, that's dark pink. I mixed it, right? Okay. So I've got that, what I'm going to call medium pink. How pretty. Yeah, and it just gives it a little bit of a variegated color. I didn't wash it out. I wasn't worried about that. Hi, Lana. And then I'll just do something like that. So then what I'm ready for is the same thing on this light pink, like his muff, I guess you could think of around his uh, nose. I'm gonna just do the, something like that. And then we're going to go 
I'm gonna try something. I don't know if it's gonna work, y'all, but that's all right. Now, normally at this point, I would pick up the script liner and do scripting work, but we're gonna do something a little bit different. I am gonna go ahead and do this uh, shading pink right here on that medium nose. Okay. Now, while I have this, I'm just gonna kinda kinda come up here. And the first go around, you notice that my stroke is not that even, so I just kinda come back and do it again. Was Debbie said no template? Oh, you know what, Debbie, I don't know. Do we have a template? I might not have put a template. I know we have one, but my bad, I don't think I put it on there. But thank you for checking. Yeah, that's probably right, Debbie. I probably didn't put it up there. So I'm not, normally I would use my script liner on this color at this point, but I'm just gonna work with shading and it's gonna give it a little bit smoother, softer look. Miss Debbie said she can't find it. Yeah. We so believe then, we have one, so we'll... Yeah, I need to put it on then tomorrow, Debbie. I I'm thinking you're right. I don't think it's on there. Okay. So I'll just kind of... And notice that when I'm shading with this shading pink uh, and I'm not outlining with a script liner, it just gives it a softer... So pretty more blended look, that's all it does. And I just kind of go back and forth sometimes trying to work those lines the way I want them to work. Hi, okay? Charlene. So I've got that. <clears throat> now, I'm gonna go ahead and do that same thing right here on this little section of his around his mouth. Hi, Angela. And something like that. Yeah. All right, now I'm, I am gonna pick this up because I wanna have some definition on these little paws down here. And he's just a little cute guy coming up out of the ground. Kind of like a, I call him like a peeker. He's just peeking up out of the ground. Hi, Caitlin and Linda. Hi there, how are y'all? I'm gonna kind of come back in here, y'all, and add a few more strokes to it. You sound country. Oh my God, I know. <laughs> Sometimes y'all hear myself and I'm like, oh God, please help me not sound so uh, hick, redneck, whatever you want to call it. All right. So notice how I've got that shading pink where I shaded it, but I also came in here and put a little bit of a script liner look to it. It just gives it a lot of layers of pink. You could do this. I think this would be really cute in a yellow, a yellow bunny. So you don't have to do pink, uh, you know, whatever color you like, really. I see this being a really cute in yellow or even blue. Yeah. And I haven't spent a whole long time on the, uh, the live so far. This place, this guy is kind of little, so you're not going to have a lot to put into him. I will go ahead and just do that line. But again, this part right here that I'm outlining is gonna be shoved down and so close to the ground, you're probably really not gonna see that outline. And I think Connie's showing up and once again, being my camera person, she's amazing, y'all. Mm -hmm. She's amazing. It just makes, it, cert it certainly makes my life a little bit easier. Now I am gonna come up here and I'm, I've got a CNC line. I'm not a fan of that line not being covered in some way with, cut, with paint or color. I'm not gonna try to make it real dark, but I am gonna cover that up. Miss Debbie said she thinks that Christy bought one of those today. Ah, really? They are cute and they're simple, they're not, and that's something, you know, it's harder than you think to try to come up with designs that are not real complicated because uh, just because it's complicated doesn't make it better. Right. And, and a lot of times, honestly, good design is fairly simplistic. I'm just going to run a few things here. Okay. I'm going to rinse out that brush. I'm almost done. I'm going to put... Um, Normally, I, I highlight in white, but he's got so much white on him. I think I'll just do this. I'm going to highlight that in that soft pink. And now, y'all, we're going to do his eyes. Hi, Jocelyn. His eyes, I think, are just the cutest. Just because I like, 
Um, anytime somebody calls up to the store and they think they bought something from us and they're not sure if it's yard art, I'll say, well, what is it? And they're like, nah, you know, let's say they're looking for a Santa. I'm like, well, does he have big eyes and with a lot of eyelashes? And they're like, yeah. Yeah, I'll probably mind them. Because <laughs> I like big eyes with a lot of eyelashes. All right, I'm just going to define this eye. Y'all hear my dogs? They're so silly. They're so ridiculous. But we're kind of silly for our critters around here. Y'all can tell we don't have any kids that live here. Mm -hmm. Or that they all have four paws. Yeah, isn't that the truth? Okay, I'm going to just cover that CNC line using some black paint with this script liner. All I'm doing. And I'll come up here and give him a few eyelashes, nothing too crazy. Okay. And we got to put some dots of white in his eyes, and we're done. We're going to turn this guy around and let y'all see how super duper cute and easy and fast he is to paint. I'm going to come on tomorrow, y'all, and do a. Uh, we have a parrot that's wearing a sombrero hat. Hi, Jennifer. I'm going to come on tomorrow and uh, paint that. It's a little parrot, and he's wearing a sombrero hat. It's got too much water in it. Hold on a minute. Also, tomorrow, I should have this new contraption that I ordered from Amazon. We'll see. It's going to be interesting, y'all. It's like a black um, circular. It comes to about right here. Like a black necklace. It's about like this made out of uh, plastic but inside it's got some kind of metal and so I should be able to drape it and then it's got a holder and the cell phone sits right it's a cell phone holder it's, wow. a, it's called like a universal cell phone holder or something like that and so you should be able to in theory if this works I, if I do it tomorrow night we'll see where the cell phone sits right here and I can see through the cell phone and I can see the view exactly that y'all are seeing. And the view that y'all would be seeing, of course, is the view from my perspective. How cool. So we're gonna see. How you know, amazing. sometimes things work out. Uh, you know how they advertise stuff and make it seem like, you know, the whole Taj Mahal <laughs> and everything like that. And then you get it and you're like, what? It's the Cracker Jacks. Yes, <laughs> yes. So we're gonna see, okay. I think what I'll do on this little guy, cause he's got such black, he's got a lot of black. Okay. I'm gonna turn this around. I'm not gonna hold him up, Connie, cause he's got white on his eyes and I'm afraid it'll burn. But if you could just show him a good camera view of that. Miss uh, Debbie said, you're trying to put Kong Kong out of a job. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> That ain't gonna happen around, not well, around it'll, here. It'll be interesting, Debbie, to see how this works. It was only like $25, so that it wasn't really that bad, I didn't think. And if it works, it drapes around your neck, and then because it, you can maneuver and shape that necklace any way you want, it should be good, uh, hopefully. And uh, this is what I painted the, last night. So for if you didn't see last night, that's the fish I did last night. Uh, and I did, sorry, but he wasn't on the website by mistake. I just added him to the website about 10 minutes ago because we had a little hitch in the giddy up over here, y'all. And then I painted I that the know. night before. So we have these blanks in the store. And then of course the one I painted. And then I'm working on this. I think I'm gonna make this guy a paint party. He's a door hanger. Heidi Shore said to tell you hi. Hey, Heidi, how are you? I'm glad you're here. Uh, we've been, I've been painting all kind of stuff, y'all, just because I, I know I'm going to be off Thursday and Friday and Saturday. And so I'm trying to like hurry up and get this stuff painted so y'all can paint in time for Easter and that sort of thing. So I'm glad y'all could hang out with me. I'm going to be on tomorrow night, hopefully with a new camera view and put Connie out of a job, but mm -hmm. we'll see. I have my doubts about how that may go, but thanks for hanging out y'all. I enjoyed it and, uh, Get you a little bunny peeking up out of the ground, painting any color you want. I just thought pink would be good. We'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye-bye.